This lady has an anointing for travailing intercession. She has an anointing to get you pregnant with the nations. So I'm going to just let her do what she feels to do. Well, I didn't dare come up to the front with these midwives, but we did deliver babies in China. Hallelujah. And I found one thing out that if you do not have fear, you do not have pain. Most of the pain that we have in childbirth is because of fear, tension, tightening of the uterus muscles where they should be relaxed so that they can do their job. You know, I'm having trouble with my knees these days. And so uh, I find I don't have the strength to stand up without pushing myself up with my hands. And I uh, thank God my arms are good and strong, so I push myself and, uh, up with my hands, and my, my hands help me to get moving. I, uh, but well, many people sometimes want to help to lift me up. That is totally impossible. When they try to help me up, then I have no strength to push myself up. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is in the birthing of a baby. You've got, the muscles got their own strength. God equipped those muscles in the uterus to be able to be strong enough to push out through a small crack a big object. And God has a time exactly. It's, it's 10 centimeters time. And until that that baby is ready to, is, cannot come until the dilation has taken place. Isn't that right, sisters? To an exact amount. And it can happen in the last moment. It can happen real fast. And sometimes mothers have been left in labor in the, in the hospital because, oh, they're only six centimeters, seven centimeters, and the nurse thinks nothing's going to happen for another four hours. And then God hears the cry and the scream of the mama, and says, let's hurry things up, and shoop, and there's no doctor present. As you know, that happens, happens maybe to some of you, too. And, you know, God has a definite time. And I want to tell you, honey, we're getting ready to the moment when that baby is going to be born out of our lives, and that baby is the mighty sons of God coming forth out of the church in the power and the dynamics of the Holy Ghost uh, the world is waiting for the sons of God to be born, to be manifested, and it's going to come out through the ETH. Oh, Mark, Hashinama, Kosaya. That'll include the ETH and S, too. But all of those who are not even part of this ministry, who are on fire for God, who are pregnant with the Holy Ghost, we've got to be pregnant with the Holy Ghost to produce out of our lives uh, this man child, this anointed one, these sons of God. This Elijah company that's coming forth in set time. It's the set time has come. And I thank God that we're living in this generation. And some of us old girls are going to produce them too. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. You don't need to be just under the menopause time to give birth to this son. God showed us that through Sarah. And then God showed us that through Anna. Old Testament, New Testament, both covenants had old women that gave forth babies when it was long past time. And I believe that old dead church oh, is going to rise in the power of the Holy Ghost uh, with a new endowment because that light and that glory is going to come down and it's going to give new revelation, new seed to the old dead womb. Amen. And oh, what joy we'll have and we'll be able to see it with manifested with our own eyes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you really want to be pregnant? Amen. Glory to God. I'm glad to see some men raising their hands. This is your only chance for pregnancy, brothers. No other chance you ever get pregnant. But this is a pregnancy that's available to men. And I tell you, don't be afraid of bringing forth that child. I had three sons, and, and I didn't know any pain until the last day the second stage at the very end and uh, that was when I was finally pushing out the babies I had I had contractions so strong and not a single pain and I know it's possible 
This is going to be painless childbirth. We've done all the travailing up till now. We've been crying out to God till now. We've been asking God to give us without which is our seed coming to life. And we're going to do it without fear, sister. Without fear. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you for this mighty anointed word this morning that's given in the power of the Holy Ghost to give us hope and faith that in the set time, and we're right there at almost at the Feast of Dedication, and it could be today. Hallelujah. That we're going to see and give birth out of the church uh, a living, mighty body of Christ's anointed ones uh, who shall be able to do great things. The mighty Joel army, hallelujah, that shall come and go like the wind, that shall see and know things in the spirit, that no powers of hell shall be able to stand against uh, and even a bullet will not be able to penetrate them because they're going to be clothed upon with the light of God. The glory of God's going to be upon them. We thank you, Lord Jesus. I have not seen, neither has he heard, hasn't even entered the heart of the church, to the things that God's prepared for the church. But we're bringing forth that supernatural company of, 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 of people, oh God, out of our old flesh, oh God, out of our old bodies, because there's a covering over us, hallelujah, of the Son of God and the glory of God. And that thing that shall be born of us shall be called the sons of God. Lord, we give you our bodies. We dedicate our bodies to you. And we ask you right now, Lord Jesus, that you'll sanctify our bodies. Clean up our wombs, oh God. Clean up our unbelief. Get our unbelief out of our wombs, oh God. Fill us with faith. Put the seed of faith in us right now. The seed of faith, oh God. You had to visit Sarah in the tent. She didn't believe what Abraham told her. You had to visit her personally. And when you visited her personally, she had faith to conceive. Hallelujah. And in due time, in the set time, Isaac was born. And we ask you right now, speak to each and one of our hearts, that out of our lives will come forth that mighty fulfillment of the prophetic word of God concerning the end time, that you shall have a people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray that a mighty, mighty host shall come out of Africa and out of all our nations, O oh God, from whence we've come to the glory of God. Now let the Spirit of God just fall upon you, each one of you. Hallelujah. Be clothed with his glory. Be clothed with his brightness. Be clothed upon with his Son. And to them that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing. Heal some of these wombs, O oh God. Some of these wombs are so dried up. They're so old, O oh God. They're so full of unbelief that God couldn't put a seed in them. Lord, Lord, clean out our wombs right now. Sanctify our wombs right now, O oh God. That a purity and a holiness seed can take root in us, O oh God. Give us the power as conception in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, stretch us, Lord. Stretch us. Stretch us. Oh, take away our fear, oh God, that hinders you from bringing out of our lives, oh God, all that you can and all that you are and all you want to be, oh God. Oh, stretch us, Lord God. Oh, the other Messiah. Oh, yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Oh, cha ta 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 pa ka sa ya ta la Messiah. Ila ba sa ta la ma ni ta la ma sa ta la ma shi. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bishop Hood, won't you just pray for the men?
We men sometimes have a difficult time relating to things such as Sister Gwen was talking about when it comes to birthing because we've never been through some of those experiences that are common to women. And I guess in some ways we're kind of like the guy we heard about one time. It was His wife was in delivery and she was having a hard time and he was pacing back and forth across the floor and in and out of the, the birthing room and and finally the baby was born and the man said, thank God, I don't think I can ever go through this again. We don't know sometimes some of the things that ladies go through, but God has given us a capacity also to be birthers in the kingdom of God. Amen. In fact, originally when Adam was created, guys, are you listening to this? He was created with both male and female attributes in him in terms of who he was. Because this is who God is. I'm talking to you guys a moment. This is why God is not afraid to use feminine adjectives and terms to describe his nature. When he says that he gathers his children as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. Or he mounts up like an eagle over us and stirs up his nest. This is what the female eagle does. In other words, God is not afraid to recognize within him these different things that together make up man. And whenever God created the woman, he took out of man a part of what was in man, leaving now a vacancy. And that's why we're complimented and we become one when we're married and take our brides. We now are complete as it were. But the point that I'm making is, is what we're talking about here, though we may not have always an ability to relate to that, we can birth things in the kingdom of God because that's originally who we were. So I want you guys to put your hands on your stomach right now. Just all of you men, put your hands on your stomach. Amen. Father, I pray for these men that are in this house today. Men that you have given a spiritual pregnancy to. That you have impregnated with the power of the Word of God. I'm pregnant. I have things growing in me right now that are going to be born in set time and due season. These men have things growing in them. Destinies and ministries and, and the ability to, to cause changes in the atmosphere of countries and nations and churches. That has to do with the kingdom of God. And I pray for them right now, Lord. I pray for the release of those things whose time has come. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the release of those things whose time has come. That's it. Just push down right now. Just push. Something is being released in the kingdom of God right now. This service today, there's something powerful that is happening so we pray, Lord Jesus, that these men of God who are here today, that the things that you have impregnated in their spirit, the things that you have put inside of them, that these things will not be aborted, that they will not be born stillborn, that they will not be born unable to fulfill their purpose, but the life that is stirring in us as men, the life that is moving in us as men of God, that it will be released and that the functions and the purposes that are within us, the visions we hold, the dreams we embrace, the ministries that you've called us to raise up, these things are coming forth with power in the name of Jesus. Our time is coming. Our time is coming. Come on, men. Your time is coming. You're nearing the maturation stage. You're nearing the season of delivery. You're nearing the time when conception has grown and now delivery is about to produce what you have been laboring over and what's been growing inside of you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.